Hello, it's March 1st, and it's the commemoration of George Herbert. The reading is from Psalm 96. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord all the earth, sing to the Lord, bless his name, tell of his salvation from day to day. Truth and Beauty George Herbert was a 17th century Anglican cleric and poet whose life exemplified the all-too-rare combination of the pursuit of both truth and beauty. May his tribe increase. Though it is largely ignored in systematic theologies, art provides us with insight into the nature of God and the life of faith that can be grasped in no other way. Herbert's sermons are all but forgotten, but his hymns and poems are sung and remembered by Christians throughout the world. They tell us something about who he was, of course, but they also tell us something about the nature of God. Poets carry the news of the universe in Robert Bly's phrase, but they also carry news of the author of the universe, or shall we say, the poet or the composer of the universe. One of Herbert's hymns has been set to a hauntingly beautiful melody by another pursuer of truth and beauty, composer Rafe Vaughn Williams. Though he never once mentions the word God, there is no doubt as to what or who Herbert is attempting to describe. For him, truth and beauty, like justice and compassion, are not finally separate pursuits, but one and the same. Let's make that hymn our prayer. Come my way, my truth, my life, such a way as gives us breath, such a truth as ends all strife, such a life as conquers death. Come my light, my feast, my strength, such a light as shows a feast, such a feast as men's in length, such a strength as makes his guest. Come my joy, my love, my heart, such a joy as none can move, such a love as none can part, such a heart as joys in love. Amen.